Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the one and only Amir of Appetite, Caliph of Cuisine, the Sultan of Snack. Guys, I'm back to you today for an Uncle Matteo's pizza review. What I got is the new Nashville hot chicken pizza. Now this thing has a creamy ranch base. Uh, I'll come back to that. Um, crunchy dill pickles, spicy marinated chicken, and drizzled with Mike's hot honey. Um, I'm down with the hot honey, the creamy ranch base. A little scary for me, but it's Nashville hot chicken, uh, so we'll do it. Uh, also, the pickles. Pickles on pizza. Uh, I'm not particularly big on pickles or ranch. Pickles, if they come on something, I'm fine with it. I normally won't say no pickles. Um, I can eat like a kosher dill pickle plain. I, I like pickles, but pickles on pizza, different story, okay? The ranch, it's, it's in line with the theme here. This is Nashville hot, as is with the pickles. So let's take a look. So let's take a look at this pizza now, guys, without me dropping it. Okay, here we can, s or without my hair getting in the way. So here now we see this pizza, which um, it looks pretty good, okay? So there you see, um, as we're looking, you see the spicy chicken, the onions, and the crunchy dill pickles, again, um, on top of a creamy ranch-based pizza. So let's have a bite here. Get a slice that looks good. Okay, how about that? Got my little, little plate here, check it out. All right. Here we go. Not gonna lie, my initial response um, is that this is a good pizza. Um, the ranch isn't, uh, maybe it's there with a little bit of tang, not overpowering. Uh, the onions uh, give, give an expected level of depth there, um, if you like red onion. The pizza, uh, you know, all together, the different ingredients are coming together, but at the, uh, the chicken, the chicken, I am pleasantly surprised um, that it does have a nice little kick to it. Um, you know, it's a Nashville hot chicken pizza. The chicken better be hot. And, um, you know, while it's no hot chip challenge, the chicken on here has has a good, good flavor and a nice little kick. So I'm gonna go for another bite. What a pleasant surprise. Even the pickles not bothering me. So, again, I heard pickles and ranch on the pizza. And um, I was a little apprehensive about trying it. Two things that are not my favorites. But um, I have an affinity for the strange, and this had to be on the channel. So I like this Nashville hot chicken pizza from Uncle Matteo's. Um, please give it a shot. Uh, let me know what you think. Even the, the hot honey, it's like everything's kind of com coming together in a complimentary way. Uh, from the ranch sauce base, the onion, the pickles, the hot chicken, and then the nice little hot honey drizzle. It's nice to see an uh, ensemble of ingredients that, you know, kind of seem strange, but then collectively they, they do complement the other. Um, so good on them for that. A well-executed concept. So the World Cup. Let's talk about the World Cup a little bit as I as I can't help but eat this pizza. But um that's why you're here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, 
Like mama said, don't talk with your mouth full. So, the World Cup. Yesterday, the U.S. Uh, World Cup campaign came to a close um, when they fell to the Netherlands. What I have to say about that is, was it a success? You'll hear some people say this World Cup was a success for the United States. Others will say it wasn't. And I think that has to do with, you know, our interpretation or the boundary between hope and expectation. So the United States is in a group with Wales, England, and Iran. I expect them, expected them to get out of that group. They should have got out of that group. I picked them. Uh, I did a bracket. I picked them to get out of that group, and they did. Good on them. When they faced the Netherlands in the round of 16, uh, this team really got tactically picked apart by a, the better team. Um, and there's no, there's no hanging your heads in, in shame about that. Um, it's a young team. They, in my opinion, had a successful campaign, and they'll be back. And they'll be back and, and, and probably stronger. So that's what I have to say about the U.S.'s uh, World Cup. And, um, you know, by comparison, the U.S. didn't crash out. Belgium, the number two ranked team, Belgium crashed out. Germany crashed out. Uruguay and Mexico were eliminated. They didn't go through. Italy, the European champion, watched the whole thing on the couch with me. Okay? That's a disappointing campaign. The United States... You know, hats off to them. They 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 did well um, in this tournament. Argentina took care of business yesterday against Australia. Although at times that game was a little little too too close for me. Um, today uh, you had France really just kind of walking through um, Poland after a fairly close first half. They they really showed their class there and. Um, and, and really kind of put an exclamation point on that win. I think they're a clear favorite going forward, probably along with where, where I would put Brazil, although Brazil has had some important injury setbacks, um, Neymar and Jesus uh, among them. So we'll see if they can still, you know, um, end up reaching the final. So France is doing well, and then England eliminated Senegal today. Um, I tend to pull for the African teams and Latin American teams. And, and so Senegal, uh, did get eliminated. Um, England, uh, kind of got right back to business, you know, um, really the one game they probably were disappointed with somewhat was the, with the game, you know, versus the United States, but now England's back on track and they face France and that'll be a very, very good, uh, quarterfinal matchup. Uh, I'm looking for, um, Brazil to take care of business and probably end up facing. I'll be hopeful that Argentina can get through the Netherlands. If so, they'll have a semifinal date with Brazil. That'll be an interesting game. Um, so that's where things kind of sit now. Uh, I think Spain will, although I'll pull from Morocco, we'll see what they can do. I think Spain will end up kind of coming through too. Um, so on both sides, there are some interesting matchups ahead. Um, that's where I kind of see things going. And so, yes, this Uncle Matteo's Nashville hot chicken pizza is a thumbs up from me, the Snack and Sultan. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I um, hope you guys are enjoying the tournament. Um, got my Brazil kind of throwback jersey on right now. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of the comments. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, spread the good word. Thanks, guys.